Facebook Commerce. With the increase in commerce on the internet, it is obvious that e-commerce is also moving into Facebook. In fact, for years, social commerce has been an important word in Mark Zuckerberg's vocabulary. Enabling people to open a shop front in Facebook and then linking it to their existing online shop. But the next step is to let all this commerce take place in Facebook. And of course, on the mobile. On top of that, Facebook now features many different ad types that shops can use to promote their products, linking back to the online store. Now watch this space, we've only seen the tip of the iceberg. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to set up a Facebook shop, connect your Facebook shop with e-commerce sites like Shopify, create a Facebook catalog, use Facebook dynamic ads to promote specific products, and promote your Facebook shop. Facebook has many options for e-commerce. You can set up a shop on your Facebook page and tailor it to your own products. These products can be presented on your page and you can advertise for them as well. And you can also add a catalog to your shop, which gives you the opportunity to promote and target your product advertising more specifically. Setting up your Facebook shop, Facebook allows you to set up shop on your Facebook page. By doing this, you can promote your products on Facebook and offer prices for your product. You can also add a Shop Now button. Once people click on the products, it will take them to their website, where they can place the order they want to buy directly into the shopping trolley. Setting up a Facebook shop has many advantages. You don't need an existing catalog, so you can add an unlimited number of products you want to feature in your shop. Like any shopping catalog, Facebook allows you to organize your products in collections, so people can easily find the products they are looking for. And by activating the messaging button, people can ask questions or even place an order. To create your Facebook shop, you have to add a shop tab here on the left side menu. Now the way to do that is to go to the settings and then in the settings you click on the templates and tabs. And then here you see you currently haven't got the shop as a tab, so you click add tab. And that's where you have shop. So you simply click add tab and that means your shop has been added. And then you can drag the shop to a higher level in the tab menu. And then you can go to the settings of the shop where you can switch it on and off and where you can also copy the URL of the shop. But the main settings of the shop are also within the tab when you are on your page. So now that we've installed the tab for shop, you now see on your home page of your Facebook page, you here see as the third item, the shop. Click on the shop and the first thing obviously you need to do is to agree to the terms and conditions for your shop. You click continue and then you're basically going to set up all the details in your shop. Now, the first question you need to answer yourself is how do you want people to buy the products from your shop? They can either send you a message to buy, you can activate that, or you can drive them to your website. For instance, where you have your online shop, you can just get them to the link of that particular page. So for this demo sake, let's click message to buy and we'll click on continue. You select a currency and then you click save and you're getting to the next screen of your shop setup where you're going to add products and you can also add the description of what you sell. So when I click here on describe what Simply Business sells, I have 200 characters to describe what my business does. So I can just add, for instance, for the demo sake, social media, training, products and services. And I click save changes. And then I'm going to add products. So if I click on add product, you're going to add visuals for your product, you can add a video of your product, you can add name, the price, 
whether the product is on sale, a description of the product, whether you want to share this product on your Facebook page. You can give uh, inventory information, different options about your product like sizes and colors and how you want it to show up on your page and who do you want to be able to see the, the product. So let's add some products. So here we're going to go to the photos that we're dragging from the, uh, the desktop. So let's say that is product one. And we're going to use that. This is social media book. And the price is 10 pounds. And the description, how to attract date and love your customers on social media. I'm just going to leave these as standard options and I click save. And now I have my first product added. And I can add more products. So you see how the product features in the product list. I can add my next product and add a photo. Uh, select the files here I'm going to product number two and this is social media training and we'll say that is 50 pounds description introduction to social media keeping those settings standard that's product two and then I'm going to add product three. Product three is, let's say, a, um, a LinkedIn training. And I'm going to say, again, LinkedIn training. The price is 50 pounds. I'm clicking save. And then the fourth product that I will be adding is product four, and that would be the Facebook training. And that would be, let's say 50 pounds as well. Introduction to Facebook, and I'm clicking save. Yeah, if I now do a refresh of the page, you will see that all the products show up. Now, there is another area where you can actually put products in different collections. So, for instance, if I want to do the Facebook training and the LinkedIn training in a collection, I can then click here, Add Collection. Yeah, so these are the products that are currently in the catalog. But if I'm going to add a collection, I'm going to say Training Products. Yep, and then I can add the products to the collection. The one I wanted was Facebook training and LinkedIn training. I've now added two products to this collection and I can then click save. And if I now go back to my shop, so let's go to the page and I'll go to the shop. You now see that I have two collections that I can sort of scan and browse through and I have my different products. So I can now start promoting my shop through Facebook advertising or by sharing particular products from my shop on my timeline. Here you see an example of a Facebook shop. You can see the desktop and the mobile version of it. On the desktop you can see the shop tab on the left. You can decide what position the shop takes in the tab listing. You can do this in the settings and you can see the products by category and also you see the shop now button and the send message. On the mobile you can show the product specs, a photo, the price, the details and the link to the website. In the shop setup you can manage all aspects of running your Facebook shop. You can add products, you can add collections, you can get an overview of the orders and the pending orders. The Facebook shop also allows you to tag products. You can tag up to 30 products and links in your shop. You tag these in your page posts. When people see your product tags in your posts, they can then click on the tag to shop for the tagged product. 
Finally, it is important to connect your Facebook page with a payment engine. You can set up your payment within your Facebook page, so people can buy your products directly on your page. But this only works in the US. For those shops outside the US, you need to integrate your Facebook shop with e-commerce platforms, like Shopify. Fortunately, many online store builders who have e-commerce engines can integrate your existing products on their store with your Facebook page. This means that you can connect your existing online shop with Facebook, and your existing products will automatically be uploaded in your new Facebook shop. Creating your Facebook catalog. To expand the capabilities of your Facebook shop, you should use or set up a Facebook catalog. Consider this catalog as a folder with all the products you want to promote and advertise. Once you've set up your Facebook catalog, you can target people with specific product ads based on their browsing behavior in your shop. For example, when somebody clicked on a specific product in your shop, you can target them with an ad for that product the next time they are on Facebook. Now that your shop is ready, you can target people who visit your shop or your online shop on your website through setting up a Facebook catalog. Now, in order to set up a Facebook catalog, you have to be in the Ads Manager. And when you click here on the Ads Manager, you go down under Assets and that's where you see Catalogs. Because we've created a catalog when we set up our shop, it will automatically show up here in your list of catalogs. And when you click on the catalog, you get to the screen where you can select different type of ads that you want to run for the particular products. You can see what products do we have in our catalog, what product sets do we have in our catalog, and what are the data sources for the catalog that we're using. And there is the settings for your catalog as well, like what's the name of your catalog, what notification settings, etc. So back to the diagnostics area of your catalog. This is where you are going to decide what type of ad you're going to use for your catalog. So you can have generic ads or you can have dynamic ads. Generic ads is basically where you can feature um, an ad for a specific product in your catalog. Or when you do a dynamic ad, you can actually retarget people who see specific products on your website and they can then receive an ad with that particular product that they saw on your website, but then on their Facebook, just as a little reminder that may push them to buy the product. So if I click on the ad to drive traffic, it will ask you which accounts do you want to use. And then it takes you to the ad manager where you go through the standard process of your campaign settings, your ad account settings, your ad set, and the creation of the ad itself. Now I'm not going to show you all the details of how to create an ad. We've done that in other demos, but a very important section that you have here is that you can create an instant experience which is a much more multimedia type ad that you can select within your catalog. For instance, you can select which products do we want to select for the ad? How do you want to order the products like dynamically, or you can even specify an order. Are there specific sort of collections that you want to use for this ad? But do you want to use a cover video or a cover image? And then what is the call to action button that you want on your ad? And once you're done with that, you're going back into the ad set creation where you are looking into the traffic for the ad and the audience segmentation. And then you follow the process of developing your ad. Using Facebook dynamic ads. Here are a few more details about the Facebook dynamic ads. They promote products from your catalog to people who are more likely to respond to them because they have seen that particular product before in your shop or in your app. Or they have shown an interest in the category. For instance, if people are browsing hotels on your website but don't make a reservation, you can then target them with specific product ads from your catalog based on their travel preferences. Finally, it is important that you promote your Facebook shop. There are many ways you can do that. 
You can promote your products by making them stand out through videos and really good photography. And another effective way of promoting your shop is by enabling ratings and reviews. Often people look at customer reviews before making a buying decision. And if you have a physical store, it will also help if you add all your shop details, like the address and the opening times. And it goes without saying that when people message you with questions or even an order, make sure you respond instantly. So what did we learn in this lesson? Setting up a Facebook shop will enable you to list and promote products you sell. You can even connect your shop with e-commerce sites like Shopify. You can set up a Facebook catalog that holds all the items you want to promote across all of Facebook's social media platforms. And Facebook dynamic ads automatically promote products to people who have expressed interest on your website or in your app. Three simple elements for promoting your shop. Respond quickly to messages from customers, encourage people to leave reviews, and add the address of your physical store. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.